Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. The holiday season is here. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. We're seeing travel records smashed and it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that part of it. Yeah, that part as we uh, usually, look at the map there. It usually comes with the, the holidays, I suppose, but all that excitement still won't won't get dampened as uh, Brett's here to talk about the forecast on the busiest travel day. Yeah. Of the year. By the way, if you think it's cold now, wait till this weekend. Uh, yeah, I saw we, we had did a whole morning show and yep. I tried to not yep. see it. Yep. <laughs> the next uh, little while should be OK, but as we get into tonight, tomorrow morning, things could get a little bit more interesting. Okay. So uh, temperatures right now are in the upper 30s and lower 40s, so it's jacket weather. But as we progress throughout the next little while, we're going to be watching our next system coming in out of the Rockies. And you can see it giving way to rain, snow, and even a freezing rain mix out in the plains. And that's coming this way. But latest model data is hinting that most of it, if not all of it, may stay south of us. So I'm cautiously optimistic here that tonight, tomorrow, we may get a little something, but most of it stays to our south. As for today, this travel day, if you're moving around southeastern Michigan, it could be mostly cloudy skies, maybe a drop or a flake, uh, but that's about it. Later on tonight, overnight and early tomorrow morning, there could be a light rain snow mix. We'll talk about that here in just a bit. Outside of that, if you're traveling across the country, most of the country is looking good a minor delay down in Miami at the moment. But again, there is that system coming out of the Rockies that will be impacting us tomorrow morning. We'll talk about it. Time it out for you just a bit. Uh, the timing is going to be all important. Mm -hmm. All right, right. Well, America's Thanksgiving Parade presented by Gardner White coming up in uh, <laughs> just uh, less than 24 hours now in Detroit. Definitely feeling the buzz of excitement. A buzz of excitement. So excited to see all the new floats that are going to be rolling down Woodward Avenue. And of course, the holiday will be in full swing. Let's get to Will Jones yeah. and just see what the temperature is right now in Woodward Avenue as we gear up for the parade. You see what the temperature is. Uh, I, I am bundled up, but it's not that bad. I have a great assignment today, not complaining at all, getting ready for America's Thanksgiving parade. And look at all these floats. The floats are getting lined up. We are at Woodward and Ferry. These, this is where the floats are being lined up, getting ready to go for tomorrow's parade. I want to get to Tony Michaels, the president and CEO of the parade company. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Ah, thanks for being here. How great is this? The sun shining? Great November day. So what should people expect coming down tomorrow? Well, I'll tell you, the best ever. We really try to up ourselves, up the game every single year. And we do it because we have so many amazing supporters. From Gardner White, our presenting sponsor, and so on down the line. We've got six brand new floats this year, uh, 20 other floats in their second or third year, and uh, just a whole lot going on. And with the best grand marshals uh, from Dan Lepp, United States Senator Debbie Stabenow and Mike Tirico. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a huge day in Detroit, followed by a Lion game, and beginning with the S3 Turkey Trot, which we put on with 15,000 runners. What are your favorite parts of this parade? This is the 98th year. Yeah, my favorite parts are really the families and the kids and the smiles that you see along Woodward and the distinguished clowns that we have who come together and hand out beads. And it's really about people being together, all walks of life, and they're shoulder to shoulder. What this parade has done for 98 years is bring people together and really turn our city on in such a great way. What makes this parade so unique? I think it's it's about the grassroots, the way that we handle it, you know, the way that we build the floats and work with the companies and the, and the local and national support that we get. Um, it, it is unique. It really is. And we take it very serious. Um, our belief is that this event, just like the Ford Fireworks, is owned by the people. So it's our job to make it bigger, better, and bolder and work with our great partners like WDIV and so many others uh, in pulling all of this off. All right. Thank you for your time this afternoon. It kicks off at 845 this morning, and it's going to be a great time. It always is. We're live in Midtown. Will Jones, Local 4.
All right, well, thank you. And just so excited for tomorrow morning. Our coverage gets underway. Prior to that, our special edition of the morning show live from the Brakeman right there in downtown Detroit at 6 a.m. Behind the scenes, we'll have turkey trot, behind the scenes look at some of the flows, how they were built, who builds them, so much content. Uh, Mike Tarico, one of mm -hmm. our grand marshals, will be there. So stay with Local 4 all morning on Thanksgiving from 6 a.m. all the way through the end of the parade. Well, another year, another record breaking holiday travel season. Millions of people are packing the car, maybe sitting on the suitcase so you can zip it up. Uh, Guilty. To, yeah, to join <laughs> friends and family on Thanksgiving. Of course, Detroit's Metro Airport is a popular travel spot because that's, of course, where lots of folks will be flying out to get wherever they want to go. Nick Monticelli's been there all day long, and he has more on all those travelers. Good afternoon. I got to tell you, this has been one of the craziest, busiest travel days of the year. Right now, line's not that bad at all. Families are smiling, I hope. Are we smiling? Are we good? We're smiling, they say. Okay, everybody's off their destinations. All right, we're, we're, on, we're on Channel 4. Where are we headed to, man? Um, Florida. Ah, you had to think about it for a while. You can change your ticket if you want to. Going to Florida. Where are we headed to? We're going to Florida, baby. We're going to Florida. Everyone's going to Florida. And where are we going? New Hampshire. That's not Florida. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not warmer either. No, it's not. Who's in New Hampshire? Uh, my sister. Uh, we have to go see the sister then. Uh, is, did mom put you up to it? My grandson. <laughs> ah, okay. So you're dragging him along for that trip then. <laughs> I'm going to see my grandson. Well, that's what I, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm very happy to see uh, my my nephew. Yeah. That's very. Really How old exciting. is he? He's less than a year old. Oh, so is this first time? This is like maybe the second, third time I've seen him before. Very so. cool, very cool. Yeah. Well, have a great flight, you guys. Happy holidays. <laughs> you know, it's been a lot of this throughout the morning. People just so happy to go see their families. And really, again, on the busiest day of the year, this airport, not too bad. I'm sure it's going to fluctuate as we get closer to some of those peak departure times. But as normal, if you're coming down here, pack your patience, give yourself extra time. But as of right now, especially throughout the morning, it hasn't been that bad. We're here at Metro Airport. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Well, let's just hope the afternoon is just as nice. Thank you, Nick. And no wonder I always see people from Detroit and Florida. We all go there. Oh. The Detroit People Mover is back up and running, and it won't stop for the next 36 hours or so. The People Mover has been closed since September to do some repairs and track replacements, and transit officials are welcoming riders back in style. There's a DJ out today. Tomorrow you're going to get free hot chocolate if you're headed to the game or to the parade. And with Detroit hopping for Thanksgiving, that People Mover will provide nonstop service all the way through Thanksgiving night. It's also a place where you can get warm. Yeah. Just take a ride on it if you've been walking around the parade, you know? Just in time. Mm -hmm. Today we expect an update from Detroit police on a block party shooting that happened in June. Now this was the one where four people were injured. It was June 1st and it was on the city's west side at Trinity and Florence. The shooting actually turned into a shootout with police. No charges have ever been filed in this, but we're expecting to hear an update on that. So it could change. Interim Police Chief Todd Bettison planning a news conference conference for 145 this afternoon. Police are on a manhunt for 27 year old Darius Lacey. You'll see his picture in a minute. He's accused of shooting a two year old boy on Detroit's east side. That shooting happened last night on Dickerson Avenue just before 7 p.m. And officers say that when shots went off, it was during an argument between the ex boyfriend and a new boyfriend of the two year old child's mother. Police said that the two year old was shot in the leg, but is expected to be OK. Thankfully, investigators are now looking for 27 year old Darius Lacey as the main suspect. So if you think you've seen him, know where he is, have any information that can help with the investigation, you can contact the Detroit Police Department. Big reminder from the Oka County Sheriff's Office, stay alert on the roads tonight. Thanksgiving Eve is one of the worst nights of the year for drunk driving, according to police. In a social media post, the Sheriff's Office warning people to think ahead. It's important to make some plans and make sure you can get home safely if you do end up indulging a little too much.